Hey guys, welcome. Uh, we're just going to give it a minute or two. Uh, there are a couple of other guys that are in the process of joining. Um, so we're just going to give it two minutes and then we'll get cracky. Thank you very much. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. Welcome, everybody. Uh, it looks like we've got a nice busy webinar. There's a couple of new guys here. There's a couple of familiar faces here. Uh, I see Zahn is here. Welcome, Zahn. Olga, good to see you. Naresh, welcome. Uh, Mr. Grumpy, good to see you here. Errol, welcome as well. Uh, there might be uh, some more people that will join uh, as we go along. So if I take a pause just to allow some of the guys and just bear with me. Uh, but for now, yes, thank you very much, guys. It's 7 p.m. We're going to kick off with the webinar now. Um, I would like to thank you guys for uh, taking the time to come and spend with me on this webinar. Um, I would like to share with you uh, some information around the trading, uh, more specifically a strategy that I'm going to share with you guys today, uh, a very different way of trading. Some of you are familiar with it. Some of you have been practicing it. Some of you don't know anything about it. But don't worry about it. I'm going to take you guys through tonight uh, one step at a time. All right. So uh, first of all, welcome. It's good to see all of you guys here. I know that uh, you're taking time out of your evening, uh, be it spending with your family or uh, doing something for yourself to come through here. Uh, so I really hope that you learn something uh, and that this will help you in your trading going forward as well uh, as it is doing wonders for me. All right. So uh, just a quick introduction, who am I? My name is Vernon Hayes. Uh, I'm just a regular guy. Uh, I've been trading for about three years now, just over three years. Um, and throughout my career, my main focus has been strategy and software development uh, to take along with me. And uh, so far, so good. A lot of you guys are familiar with the trading software that I've created. Marker Buddy, just a, a simple custom indicator, very accurate, nice to trade with, does all the work for you. Uh, then there's also Chartmaster. Uh, Chartmaster needs no introduction for a lot of the guys. Nice automated trading tool. Um, I'll be showing you guys uh, some automation tonight as well as we go through. All right. Um, so I do own my own business, ProfitFX. Uh, I use that to coach guys at this stage for free because there's so much free information out there and I rather focus on the product development. So um, it's difficult for uh, guys to make money when they don't have money to make money. So paying for expensive courses and things like that I understand can be difficult so here you are and welcome now you know who I am and I hope that you enjoy the webinar that we're going to go through tonight all right so uh, just a quick one guys risk disclosure 
Uh, the content in this webinar is purely for educational purposes. It is not investment advice. I'm not a qualified financial advisor. I do not have any financial qualifications. However, that does not mean that I do not know how to trade. And it does not mean that if you don't have a qualification that you can't trade. Anybody can trade. All you need to do is learn the know-how and then you can go into the market and you can work on ways to extract yourself some money from the markets. All right. So trading involves a high degree of risk. You need to be aware of that. It's very important um, because uh, all of your capital is at risk. Uh, we are not investment advisors or me more as such, as I've just mentioned. And there's a, a very important point. Uh, there is no guarantees or certainties in trading. So don't let anybody guarantee you anything, including me. There is no such thing as a guarantee in the financial market. Um, and then the last two points there, many traders lose money because of the lack of guarantees and more so uh, not so good risk management. So just be aware of that, guys. Uh, and then the last point, do not trade with money that you cannot afford to lose. All right. So uh, uh, there are some guys that go out into the market, put their life savings in, uh, and uh, they don't trade profitably just yet, lose their account. Um, and then they literally end up with nothing to their name. So don't have, don't trade with what you can't afford to lose um, so that if things do go the other way from what you had planned, that at least it doesn't hurt you financially in that sense. All right, that's great. So um, I just want to find the other chart that I want you to open up here. Okay, so I want to go through a couple of tips with you guys. First and foremost, uh, just uh, some items from, from myself that I'd like to briefly cover with you guys. Things that I see out there, things that I've learned from uh, tendencies that take place. Uh, and it's just four quick points that I'd like to cover with you guys. The first one is forget everyone and their opinions. How many times is it that you've gone onto the charts, you've opened up a trade, uh, after you've done your analysis, you place the trade, only a couple of moments later uh, that you see something, you guys do it, I saw something online or you know, this one says that or the talk, talking heads on CNBC says this or whatever it is. Those guys are just going to make you doubt yourself. Okay, you'll find that in 90% of the cases, you will find that you were right in any event. Okay, so all that's going to happen is these guys will put doubt in your mind and that will cloud your judgment when it comes to trading, which brings me to the next point. And I don't think that there is much more to say about it then trust yourself, okay? If you can trust yourself and you can trust your decisions, you won't have the need to look at anybody else's work online, compare that with your own, uh, and then start doubting your decision. All right, so trust yourself. And the easiest way to do that is to follow your plan. You have to have a plan, set the plan out and follow that plan. It's the same if you plan with family, how many kids do you wanna have with finances? Can I buy a car, yes or no? and life in general, all right? So you need to make sure that you follow your plan. Trade your plan and plan your trade, right? I'm sure you guys have heard that before. Now, the last uh, factor that I want to cover with you guys uh, is uh, maybe a little bit unusual, but I would like to invite you, uh, especially when it comes to uh, practicing to trade properly, uh, and I highly recommend doing that on a demo account, is be fierce, all right? If you are going to go in, and you're looking at a trade setup and it's, oh, okay, well, what do we have here? We have a, uh, it looks like a sell signal. That's a gravestone doji. Um, and here we can see prices is pissed the, the, the trend line, but oh, no, I'm just not too sure. Maybe I'll take, maybe I'll wait for the next one. No, that is not going to get you anywhere because situations like that land you up in a conversation later, something to the likes of, I should have taken that trade or I shouldn't have listened to this guy. All right, so be fierce in what you do and you'll see that your results will follow. Uh, it's got a lot to do with trusting yourself. All right, so just be fierce. If you've made your mind up, you've done your analysis, regardless of what anybody else thinks, be fierce, open up the trade. It's your analysis. You should be owning it. All right, good stuff, guys. So uh, for this webinar, uh, you guys will see that I actually named it Approach, Psychology and Method. Now, the reasons for that is very simple. There's uh, these, three, these three items. If you're going to uh, uh, work in the trading environment uh, with a specific strategy, then it is going to help you a lot, okay? So some people go in 
they uh, they just draw a couple of lines, then make a trade, um, and uh, it's often based on hollow knowledge uh, rather than actually having a, a, a very clear picture of exactly what's going on on the charts. So approach is going to be the way that you are looking at the charts, uh, and I'm not referring to the angle of your laptop or your screen, whether you're laying on the couch. I'm referring to the information that you are actually looking at. Uh, so for the for you guys that are here now. Tonight is going to be about Renko charts and trading on Renko charts. If you haven't heard about Renko charts, please don't worry. Uh, I'm going to show you what it looks like, what it is. I'm going to discuss it with you. I'm going to show you how to set it up. And then I'm also going to show you exactly how to trade on Renko charts. Okay. So first things first, what is a Renko chart? A Renko chart, uh, if you have a look at the current screen that we've got over here, you can see that this is a candle chart and a candle chart. You can switch to a bar chart. You can also switch it to a line chart. All right. But you often hear when guys are speaking of noise in the market. Now, if we're just going to back up a little bit here, um, it seems pretty clear. Uh, there's not too much noise. But when you land in a situation uh, where you're looking at something like this, up, down, up, down, up, down, not in big ranges, uh, you know, then that's often uh, uh, we just refer to it as noise. Now, what do you do to get away from noise? Naturally, you're going to switch to a higher time frame, which makes a lot of sense. The higher the time frame, the more reliable your analysis will be, which is perfectly fine. Okay. But when you're going to try and cancel out the noise, for me, one of the best ways to do that is by using Renko charts. All right. And I'm going to show you guys in a minute exactly what a Renko chart looks like. And the moment I show you or compare it uh, to what an actual candle chart looks like, you're going to understand 200% exactly why Renko charts uh, are, are my personal favorite and why a lot of the other guys out there like to trade it as well. Okay, so Renko charts is basically a chart that is exactly the same as a candle chart with the exception of two things. First thing is that it is not time-based. It is based on uh, average true range and momentum. With other words, you're going to get an extremely clear indication of the direction of trend. And I'm going to show you exactly how to use that to your advantage as well. All right. Um, you are looking at ATR and momentum. And then the second thing is that uh, your Renko bars don't look like uh, candles on the charts. They are not different sizes. They are all exactly the same size. Just to give you an idea, this is exactly what it looks like. Um, I just want to delete some indicators off the screen here so that you can see exactly what it looks like. These are all Renko bars that you can currently see on the screen. All right. And these Renko bars are all 10 pips in size. All right. Now, I've chosen for these bars to be 10 pips in size based on some technical calculations. Uh, it get, gets quite complicated. I'm not going to rope you into that. But for all practical purposes, 10 pip Renko bars on... Uh, the euro US dollar currency pair is uh, the easiest uh, uh, to understand, to set up, and to trade with. Once you're going to start venturing into other currency pairs, you need to look at the spread, there's technical data, those kind of things. Um, so if you do not have experience with it, I do not recommend it. Uh, I can tell you that trading on euro US dollar alone in this method should make you uh, uh, some decent growth on your account, uh, more than likely on a weekly basis. Obviously, if the market plays out in your favor, sometimes it doesn't. Um, but you can see trades on a weekly basis as opposed to um, the daily time frames where you tend to wait a little bit longer for uh, price to reach the levels that you want to trade or for your opportunities to come up. All right. So now you guys can see exactly what the Renko chart looks like and uh, what the Renko bars look like. You can see it on the screen. And the reason why this is so nice is because you get a nice, clear indication of trend. You can see there's a, a really nice drop that took place. Um, and uh, that drop then started to change into a little rise. You can actually see here, can you see on the screen exactly just how clear this double bottom pattern is over here? All right, so I don't really need to, to draw any lines, but for all practical purposes, I'm just going to put them up here for you guys. All right, so if you can't spot it on a candle chart, then you can spot it on a Renko chart very, very easily. You are going to see uh, patterns like your double tops, double bottoms, triple tops, triple bottoms, um, your ascending and descending triangles, rising and falling wedges. You are going to see those patterns absolutely clear 
especially support and resistance. Okay, so why do we want to trade on Renko charts instead of on other charts? Pure and simple, because the charts are clean. Your trend indication is absolutely clear, as you can see over here. So basically what happens in this process is that the market has to move 10 pips or more in order uh, for this bar to print, but it also includes, like I said, your average true range and momentum. Uh, it's quite complicated to calculate it if you want to do it manually, but that's why we live in the digital age. We've got computers that do everything for us, so you don't actually have to worry about any of that. All right, so uh, let me just get you guys through to uh, exactly how to set up a Renko chart. Now, a Renko chart is not something that you can just pick off MT4, uh, which is your trading platform you can see open at the moment, and trade off that. Unfortunately, it doesn't work like that. Um, so it needs to be set up, and I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to do that. So basically, this is what your usual chart looks like. All right, and then uh, what we are going to do is uh, we want to create a Renko chart. So for all practical purposes, I'm going to close all of that stuff. And then you can see, okay, so there's a normal chart at the moment. Um, and what I want to do is uh, there's a file that you require. Um, and that file is going to be the file that is going to create the Renko chart for you. If you do not have it, please have a look in the chat for the webinar. I have put my contact details, uh, my email, as well as my two websites there. Uh, and you can find all my contact details there. You're more than welcome to email me and tell me, Vernon, I want the file to create the Renko chart. And then you can obviously use the knowledge from this webinar just to set it up. Okay, so you are going to get the file, which is an expert advisor file, but it is not a file that is going to be, um, sorry, let me just open this again. I'm not sure if you guys can see this on the screen share. It's going to be a different file that opens. So um, it is not a file that is going to, it's not an EA that's going to place trades for you, um, but it is going to do something for you. All right, so what is going to happen is once you've got the file, you're going to click on open data folder. Uh, you will then go to the MQL4 folder after that, the experts folder, and you're gonna drop the file in there, and you're going to restart your MetaTrader platform. Now, the moment that you've done that, you'll see that it will appear uh, under expert advisors. Let me just minimize all the other stuff here. Right, there we go. Now we can see it nice and clear. So. Under expert advisors, it will then come up over here and that, that's the name of the file that I use uh, that creates the Renko chart. Now, what you are going to want to do is you're going to want to find Euro, US dollar, just a normal chart. You're going to open the chart window so that it looks like that. All right, you're gonna flip it to the daily time frame, And then what you're going to do is you're going to load that same file. You can either drag and drop or double click um, it will then open up a menu screen um, and on the menu screen all you need to do is make sure uh, that the boxes are checked. Allow live trading, allow DLL imports. All right, the moment you've done that uh, you can basically click OK um, and it's then automatically loaded onto the chart. Now this file is quite clever because it will also give you instructions once you've loaded it you'll see that it now says to you on the top left here, go to menu, file, open offline, select Euro, US dollar, M2. Now M2 is your time frame for your offline chart or your Renko chart. Okay, so let's go through the process. I'm gonna click on file, open offline. Um, I then scroll through the list, which is in alphabetical order. Uh, and then let's just have a look and see, Euro, US dollar will be somewhere down the bottom. Uh, there we go, M2, double click, and there we go, it opens up your Renko chart. So um, you can then personalize the chart any way you want. Um, I've got a standard template uh, that I like to use, uh, so I just want to correct this quickly. I don't like to see wicks on the chart, so all I do is uh, I just go here uh, where I loaded it, and uh, I just want to go to the inputs and change the show wicks to false, because they bother me when I draw my levels. All right, there we go. So there you can see that's exactly what it looks like now. Okay, so now you've set up a Renko chart. Okay, the only catch is that it's pretty easy. Okay, so this is a demo account and I know that I was just gonna hit uh, uh, a couple of numbers. So let's say 0 0.1. 
it's quite easy to open up a bio cell and you can see that it opens up instantaneously, which uh, is exactly what you want. Um, however, if you are going to trade with a trading bot on a Renko chart, what you need to do is you need to access the properties of this chart by hitting F8 and then under the common tab, just uncheck offline chart. Okay, just uncheck offline chart. All that that's going to do is it's going to allow the trading bots to actually trade on the chart. All right, so you don't need to make any modifications to any of the software or anything like that. And then if you are going to shut down your MetaTrader platform, you need to recheck this. And the reason for that is because if you don't and you restart your MetaTrader, uh, it will then basically go and convert this chart back to a candle chart. And then you've got to follow the process over again. All right, so um, just be aware of that so that you know, all okay? right? So we're on the Renko chart. You now, now know how to set up the Renko chart, what it looks like and why I like to use it. So now I would like to introduce you to one of the most common and powerful uh, tools in the trading environment. All right, so let's just think about this for a minute. Wheels have been around for as long as cars have been around. It's been around for forever. So you don't see anybody trying to reinvent the wheel. All right, it's an old saying. Uh, because we don't want to try and fix what's not broken. Uh, so what we're doing is I am coming to uh, these charts and all I'm going to do is I'm going to add a moving average or two that I would like to trade off. Now, your most common one obviously being uh, the 200 exponential moving average. So once I'm going to plot this on the screen here, then you'll see there it is, the red level. That's exactly what it looks like. Okay, so there it is. Um, and then that moving average is important. I also like to refer to it as an institutional level. The importance of this level is paramount because all the big guns, all the guys with uh, the big corporate accounts, the fund managers, uh, these guys are all trading off the 200 exponential moving average. So what you basically want to do, if you don't have a Ferrari, all right, the best bet that you've got to share in the excitement is to find someone that has a Ferrari and take a spin with them, all right? So if we are not the guys in the markets with the multi-million dollar accounts, then all we're going to do is we are going to follow the guys with those accounts and we are just gonna take a ride in the market with them when they come past the points that we want them to uh, so that we can take a ride and we can help extract money from the market. So we are not going to try and trade other guys out of the market. We are simply going to follow around what they are doing. It's basically a trend following system. I'm pretty sure that you guys have heard the term by now. The trend is your friend. It's very true. It's very important. Uh, and anything that I show you guys about the 200 exponential moving average, please be my guest and try it on the candle charts as well. Um, on the daily time frame, you'll, you'll get uh, one of your purest forms of movement off the 200 exponential moving average. All right. So moving averages have been around for forever. It is the most used indicator in the Forex market. You can go out there and Google strategies, see what guys are doing, uh, when they're doing their analysis. And uh, more often than not, uh, there's always a moving average that's being used, be it a dynamic stop, entry level, support and resistance. It gets used uh, across the board in a universal manner. So why can we not benefit from this? People often don't wait for these moves to happen, especially on the daily time frame. If you're going to have a look at, say, uh, Euro Japanese yen. Okay, so uh, here's an example. Let's say you bought off price moving above the 200 exponential moving average right here. That was on the 25th of the 4th, 2017. The next opportunity only came around on the 28th of Feb the next year. So that is about 10 months later. All right, guys. So 10 months is a really long time to wait for a trade, but when it comes, at least then you can get in. So the problem with that is that people don't often uh, end up waiting for those. Okay, so um, moving averages are unfortunately a lagging indicator. With other words, a moving average is going to show to you on the screen what has already happened. Okay, and that is unfortunately not going to help us very much because we, we it's impossible to predict the markets, but you want to work with the highest probability. So first of all, um, one of the easiest ways to trade is obviously with support and resistance. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove that moving average and I'm just going to uh, delete this trade for now. Uh, and then I'm going to show you guys very simply exactly what to look for. So you can see that there's highs and there's lows here. 
uh, and they are quite clear. So there's, there's nothing confusing about these particular levels. All right, and that's exactly what we want. So I would like to highlight just a couple of areas for you guys to show you exactly what it is that I'm talking about. So uh, let's just get some areas highlighted so you can see exactly what it is that I'm looking at. Right, so we've got a couple of points that we look at here. Um, and it doesn't always have to be exact if it's one or two bars off, guys. We are, we are not looking for a miracle. We are, we are not looking for a specific point. It more so, more so than often happens that price pulls down uh, and will end up doing a buy off a bounce on support. Uh, and it's maybe five pips from, from where the, the low actually was, uh, which is a really good entry. Um, but it doesn't have to be exact. What we are basically doing is we are working with zones, okay? So these are areas of interest. These are zones of interest. So you can see, uh, and you are more than welcome, what you can actually do is you can take these levels and you can plot them on your charts uh, and you can see where they coincide with all the support and resistance levels. And what you can then do is you can see this level, 1.14202. So if you had to switch to a candle chart, let's do it. Okay, so let's go in here. Uh, 1.14202. Right, okay, and that is a good resistance level. Uh, and then there's another one here. Let's just see where that's going to take us 1.13588. Let's just get that one in uh, 1.13588. Right, that's an easy way to set your levels, guys. By the way, so can you see that the same similarities <clears throat> are now coming to light in terms of where? these levels are actually being touched, respected, and tested uh, time and time again. All right, so I've, I've basically only drawn two levels, but you can now see just exactly how clear these levels do become. So you can go and plot the levels off your uh, Renko charts, copy them onto your actual candle charts based on the specific levels, and then you'll have a very clear indication of exactly where your support and your resistance levels are. Okay, that's great but we need to get back to my point. So you guys now understand exactly how to mark support and resistance on the chart, all right? So if you know, which you should, how to trade support and resistance, it's very simple. We will wait for support to break or we will wait for resistance to break, all right? And if price is going to fall lower, then we know that we can target that area expecting a possible bounce the same on this one over here and so on lower and lower down all right so just to give you guys a good example for argument's sake let me just remove all of these levels so we don't clutter up the charts too bad uh get that one off i actually can't get it off okay and this one all right so Let's say, hypothetically speaking, that you looked at this particular setup and you saw the head to the low and then the second head to the low and price goes up. So you can see, okay, this is now a uh, double bottom that is emerging and uh, the rules basically say uh, that once the middle peg here where the neckline would be is broken, then you can buy to the upside. And in this case, you're gonna look for a 70 pip uh, trade range. From that point, which you can see, that was exceeded that ran as far as 180 pips and generally uh you're going to put your stop either just above the last shoulder or about halfway depending on how wide that range is all right so either ways here there was a 10 pip drawdown uh on this particular setup like let's say you you, you trade on the first bar that closes above that level uh then you're looking at a, a 20 pip drawdown before price actually went up all right so this is exactly what i'm talking about your risk to reward ratio on these kind of charts and these kind of setups is extremely, extremely good, all right? There's nothing wrong with placing a trade and risking between 10 and 30 pips, I'd say maximum of 50 pips, but there's no need for that. And uh, running away with trades in excess of five to 10 times what your original target would have been, all right? So you're risking between 10 and 30 uh, pips to, to make between, uh, say, 
50 to 100 pips and uh, maybe you land up taking about 150 200 pips plus off those particular trades based on how much you're risking for that actual trade that's a very good uh, sort of outcome uh, that comes out of that all right so keep an eye out for your double tops your double bottoms um, and then also look you can just refer to them as spin highs and spin lows uh, just to keep it simple but you can also trade patterns so let's just see if we can see one there we go this is beautiful so there we go and uh, we're basically looking at a triple top here uh, and the the height of this is 55 pips or 60 pips and then there's your breakout candle that moved as far as 100 pips all right so this is not a lot of hard work as you guys can see this is extremely easy all right now these setups take time to form they take time to 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 play out um, and Renko charts are not time-based. As you can see, the whole time that I've been talking to you guys during this webinar, it's still just been this one Renko bar. Now, market price hasn't moved as much as it requires to move for this bar to print and the next one to form. So what is there to do at the moment? Nothing, all right? Now, when we're trading on candle charts, I know that I like to wait for the candle to close uh, because that gives me definitive information instead of just popping a week and going the other way. Uh, so the same counts for here. If you're going to want to trade a breakout on the support here, it's all right if you want to trade the break, breakout uh, based on a Renko bar closing below the support. But one thing I would like to point out, as you can see over here, there's one bar that closed above uh, this re resistance level, taking this high and this high into account, and then price fell back down again. Uh, so if you're going to trade these patterns and you are a little bit hesitant, the best thing to do is to wait for it to be two bars that form beyond the level. With other words, if uh, I'm looking at uh, this swing low over here and uh, this high, then the pullback can go up. After the second bar at this point over here, you can then open up a buy. Uh, you can let it run and basically trail your stop. Now, when it comes to trailing your stop, it is a good idea to use a moving average as your dynamic level. And that is where the actual strategy is going to come in now remember i said to you guys earlier that a moving average is actually a la lagging indicator all right fair enough so what are we going to do about that what are we going to do that is going to create a leading indicator from something that is actually a lagging indicator all right so let me show you guys the golden goose if you're going to look at a five exponential moving average it's basically going to look like this it's pretty close to price it's pretty tight uh, and there's it's there's not too much that you can do with it, right? Okay, great So let's just have a look and see so this is the, the moving average is right where the current live bar is now Whether it's a bar or a candlestick. That's exactly where it is So what if I had to take this moving average and push it into the future? Now what I mean by that if you look at your moving average settings panel, you'll see it comes up here It's a five period moving average. It's an exponential moving average and it says they're shift. All right. Now, if you're going to take the shift, and I've worked out the magic number is number five, and you press OK, what it basically does is it pushes the moving average forward by the space of five bars or five candles. All right. So now you can see that with a moving average actually ahead of price, you can get a much better indication of exactly what is happening and when it happens, as it happens. Wouldn't it be great if you could sell right at the top and buy right at the bottom, sell right at the top and buy right at the bottom? That's a brilliant idea. The only problem is getting the concept to work. So what we want to do is we do want to pick the highs and the lows, the peaks and the troughs. But what we don't want to do is we don't want to, to have too many false entries. All right. Now, the name of the game with trading, as far as I'm concerned, lots of little losing trades, lots of little winning trades, and then one or two big boys that come in. So if you're in a process where price goes up and down, up and down, and you get struck out about three, four trades in a row, you need to know that the winning trade is going to come, and that is going to be the one that is going to be payday. That is going to be the one that is going to help you to get the losses back, plus to earn the profit that you were originally looking for. Now, I'm not talking about revenge trading. I'm talking about just trading like you should. So I'd like to show you guys as you can see, when this particular candlestick closed below the moving average, which was right at that point, there was a massive rally to the downside 
in excess of 230 pips. So wouldn't it be a good idea if we are going to take this moving average, if we've pushed it forward into the future so that we can lean on it? Can you see that this Renko bar here looks like it's pretty much going to bounce off it and go up? Well, we don't know. It might actually break the level, but for all we know, it's going to bounce. Okay, so the whole idea here is not to predict, but rather to react. Because when you react to something, you know exactly what you're doing. If you predict something, you're pretty much hoping for the best. All right, so uh, there's a couple of casinos. I can Google it and send it to you guys. There's a few. There's online. You don't even have to go anywhere. You're welcome to go gamble there. But uh, you shouldn't be gambling here. So let's not try to predict things too much. Uh, we would rather like to try and react to exactly what happens in the market. All right, so now that you guys can see, this level has been plotted onto the screen and it is showing us a very clear indication of support and resistance levels. Now, the whole idea over here is basically that you can see, if I had to open a cell the moment this Renko bar closed below the moving average, that that was a nice rally to the downside. There was money in this move. There's a Renko bar just, just closing above uh, and then there was only about 30 pips upside. Another one closed below, and then that was only another 30 pips downside, and then this one here a little bit more, and so it carries on. The whole idea here is that there, if, if you can trade with a strategy where there is money in almost every move, then you've got yourself a winner. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is exactly what you're looking at on the screen. Now, I'm not saying that you're going to win every single trade, because that is not so. As you can see over here, there is a bar that moved just below. Uh, so that is basically an indication to open a cell. And then 20 pips up, there, there's the Renko bar that closes and it's now back above. All right, so as you can see, uh, this was a failed trade with a loss of 20 pips. Um, and I'm sure there's going to be quite a few other ones as well. I, don't, I wouldn't take 10 pips off a move. Like you can see, there's a candle closed above. It was only 10 pips and then it then went back down. However, there would have been some upside uh, to that trade at least. And that helps a lot with the strength level, right? I'm pretty sure it does. Um, you'll see if you're going to trade on Renko charts and you see blue screen on the majority of your trades at some point, uh, it's going to help you with your confidence and it is going to help you with your trade management because what's happening now is you're not in a constant stage of stressing and worrying uh, because you don't really know where price is going to turn around. You don't really know where price is going. All right. If I'm going to open up a cell right here based on the, the Renko bar closing below the moving average, I know, I know I've got this level that I can use as my dynamic stop loss that I can follow. So I would probably take my stop and put a 10 pips behind that. All right. So that it, it can be effectively managed. One of the things I would like to share with you guys is that uh, the tightest trailing stop that you need is 30 pips. And the reason for that is because you'll see on any one of these moves, if there was a rally in a certain direction, like let's have a look at this one here. So there's a rally downwards. And then there's one green bar, two green bars, three green bars. On the third green bar, you can see it's closed above the moving average. Again here, one red bar, two red bars, third red bar closed below. Sometimes it happens in one bar, depending on how many bars was moving up and down before that. Sometimes two bars. The worst case scenario is basically three bars. So what does that tell you? That tells you that this particular setup that you're looking at has a ultra tight uh, uh, stop loss set to it. Okay, so you don't need anything more than 30 to 50 pips. So because we're working on average true range, I'll tell you now, why I like to use 50 pips. And the reason is simple. If I opened up a buy over here and it takes three bars for price to go back, Renko bars work on average true range, all right? And your momentum. So that doesn't mean that if your, your stop loss is here, but you can see that the Renko bar is not quite here, okay? That your stop loss is not going to get hit. Remember that bar might not print, but price could be there. It's a very small, negligible variation but for that reason if price does come close to the moving average all i then do is i take my stop loss and i just extend it with another two bars all right so in this instance here you can see this is a 40 pip stop loss which is still more than enough so your uh, your minimum stop loss size 30 pips maximum stop loss size uh, 50 pips and then your take profit infinite 
All right, guys, it doesn't mean that you are going to earn an infinite amount of profit from the market, but what it does mean is that if uh, Alan went and opened up a buy down here and price goes up and makes a pullback like that, you can very well use that pullback as a dynamic level. Price goes up, there's another pullback, as you can see in this area over here. So Alan takes his stop loss and he moves it up there and so forth and so forth until this point, all right, where it actually becomes a reversal and you're trading in the opposite direction. So what you're doing is you are following with your stop loss and you know, okay, if this is the top three bars down, one, two, three bars down, all right, so my stop loss will be hit at this level. I would prefer to add one extra bar here. And as you can see, that's where the reversal comes in. So what happens in this process is uh, where you might have had your take profit of say, I don't know, 60 pips, 80 pips, whatever the case may be. If you're looking at highs or something on the left hand side here, it's gonna depend on what the setup looks like. However, imagine that I had a 60 pip take profit and it's on this level over here. Can you see how much was still left in that move? That was still another 90 pip move after that trade was then closed. So the whole idea here is to limit your losses and extend on your gains, all right? So you know that your stop loss is minimum 30 pips, maximum 30, 50 pips if the pot gets hot, and then you know that your take profit is infinite, okay? You don't want to limit your gains. You want to extend your gains as much as possible. I speak to a lot of guys about the strategy. I speak to a lot of guys about risk management, and I tell them all the same thing. If you are standing in front of an ATM machine and you've drawn 5,000 Rand, and you get your 50, 100 Rand notes, and you see, but hang on, there's still more notes coming out of the ATM. How many of you guys here will actually walk away from the ATM? Hmm, okay, maybe call the helpline, right? <laughs> All right, but you guys get the idea, okay? So if the market is going to keep on paying, like in this instance over here, there is no reason for us to want to cut that move short uh, by means of taking profit. The only reason why you're going to take profit is because you're nervous and psychology is getting the better of you. All right. So it's very simple. Uh, you can trade based on the breakout from resistance. So in essence, this would be a buy. Um, and then my stop loss would be 30 pips below. So that's one, two, three bars because these are 10 per bars. There's my stop loss. And then as you can see, this one's pretty much on break even. It might bounce off the level and go up. So hypothetically speaking, let's say it does bounce and go up and it makes another pullback and it makes another bounce and goes up. We will then take our stop loss and we will keep it just below the moving average. It's a five exponential with a shift of five. And then all you're going to do is you are going to trail your stop loss to follow market price and lock in profit. It's a very simple process, guys. You can, even if you've opened up a trade, it's very simple. If this is a buy opportunity and you can't be around, there we go. There's your buy opportunity. Now you've gone in at the buy. Okay, great. And what you do is you set your stop loss. What you can also do is if you right click on the trade, you'll see that it comes up with an option either to modify close or trailing stop. So if you go to your trailing stop, you can then choose custom 300 points and that is going to be 30 pips. So what's going to happen is once the market starts moving in your favor, uh, that uh, function will then automatically kick in and it will manage your stop loss for you. Bear in mind, guys, please, this is an MT4 function, all right? So if your meta trader is shut down, your stop loss and take profit levels are saved, okay? But your trailing stop will not work. Your trailing stop is a feature that is operated by MetaTrader 4 itself. So leave your platform open and running, close the door, make sure the kids can't go in to make extra money for you, and... Uh, then uh, you can just let it run with a trailing stop. All right, so the strategy is fairly simple. It's very easy to understand. This is trading support and resistance specifically. I've shown you guys how to do the chart patterns as well. Um, now I want to take you guys through automation. All right, and that is one of the real reasons why you guys are here. So if these charts are not time-based, all right, then how are you going to trade? Because you are not going to know when a Renko bar is going to close beyond this level. All right, so that then becomes very simple. All you're going to do is you're going to contact Vernon and Vernon is going to help you to automate your trading by means of Chartmaster. All right, okay, so basically 
what I'm doing here is this is what the settings panel for Chartmaster will look like. And once I load it, it brings it up. And then all I want to do is I want to say, okay, if a one exponential moving average uh, crosses a five exponential moving average with a shift of five, um, and I'm not going to use a faulty moving average, please don't worry about that. Uh, what is then going to happen is Chartmaster will place the trade for you and you'll see there's your stop loss. Uh, I'm just entering it as I'm going through with you guys. So when a one exponential moving average crosses a five exponential moving average with a shift of five, your chart is basically going to look like what you're seeing right now. Okay, so let me just delete that level quickly and let's just close that trade uh, just to avoid any confusion. All right, so let's just add a one exponential moving average and I'm just going to make it white and then you can see that is exactly a representation of the actual Renko bars. You'll find the same on candle charts, it'll all be the same. Okay, so I'm basically saying to chart master, I want to work with two moving averages. I want to work with a one exponential and I want to work with a five exponential with a shift of five so I can see into the future. When they cross down, please open up a sell. When they cross up, please close the sell and open up a buy. And that is exactly what Chartmaster does. So Chartmaster 3.0, there we go, guys. I'm going to do it one last time. When a one exponential moving average crosses a five exponential moving average with a shift of five, uh, you are not using a faulty moving average. Um, I'm not doing five pips adjustments on this because it is a correct broker. I'm not going to have a take profit, but I do want to have a stop loss of 30 pips. You can choose your lot size and then there is also a spread limiter. If the spread gets too heavy, um, then Chartmaster will hold off on opening a trade. I have noticed, by the way, if you're looking at the candle close at midnight, go and have a look at some of the spreads. It can get pretty heavy. All right. So just be aware of that. You can then use Chartmaster to basically automate your trade and then protect you from paying too much spread as well. Just one second for me. All right, guys. So once you've done that, and if you don't have the settings file, but you do have Chartmaster, just pop me an email and I'll send you the settings file, or I'll send you a screenshot of this, or you can take the screenshot now. You're more than welcome to take the screenshot, um, and then you can copy this onto your own Chartmaster. So once you click OK, you'll then see, all right, Chartmaster is active on the screen. Just remember, you've got to hit the F8 button and uncheck offline chart so that it's active for Chartmaster to trade on. All right, so it's not going to trade at the moment because this is not the correct uh, account. It's just a demo account. It's not my live account, um, but you get the idea. That's exactly what it looks like. All right, so let me just delete that. So what is an EA? What is an expert advisor or what is a trading robot? Very simply put, it is a replacement of you in a software version. So what is basically going to happen is if I was going to open up a buy when a Renko bar closes above this level, what stops me from setting up software to do it on my behalf? So that is what algorithmic trading is or automated trading is. All right. Now you, you might want to ask yourself why automation? Well, first of all, if I'm trading on the daily time frames and a candlestick is going to clo close below the moving average where Chartmaster is going to take a trade, I am not going to set up until midnight. Uh, and maybe it just pins the moving average and then goes back up. So I've sat up until midnight and nothing actually happened. All right. So that's a bit disappointing. Uh, also, if you are around at work during the day, uh, Renko charts are not time based. How do we actually know that uh, uh, the, when the bar closes below that level? We are not going to know. So I need something that trades for me. And that's why I'm using Chartmaster. So Chartmaster is going to fill the gap for you in terms of the time issue okay so it will open up the trades for you it will take the reversals and you can set it to trail the stocks for you according to the, the settings that you prefer you can do that all right and then also accuracy the moment that the conditions are met the trade will be open when we look at a chart and we placed a couple of trades and things didn't go so well in a currency pair maybe we lost the last two trades on the euro and um you know maybe there was some error on your side it happens doesn't matter take it on the chin and move on but more often than not we don't and then accuracy goes down the drain now why is that the reason for that 
is because we actually let emotions get in the way, right? So you guys are here because you want to learn, uh, you want to learn some tricks of the trade and you want to see what it is that you need to do to be able to successfully extract some money from the markets. I can tell you now, fire your emotions and you can make yourself a nice amount of money from the markets. Now, if you are not able to do that, and it is difficult, three years down the line, I do find myself hesitating at times. There's two great trades I missed this week purely because I was hesitating uh, on one of my manual strategies and look at it, those trades played out beautifully and I lost out on the profits. All right, so no emotion, guys. Software does not have emotion, all right? So it's not going to care about the last two trades that you lost. It's not going to care if Donald Trump is the president and it's not going to care if you took the 20, extra 20 100 Rand notes at the ATM after you got your 5,000 Rand that you originally drew. All right, so the software is going to do purely as it's told. And in that sense, what you are doing is you are basically cutting out emotion. All right, guys, that's what you want to do. You want to cut out emotion. So you can get ahead of time. You can get accuracy on your side and you can cut out emotion. There's a great deal of your work that is already done. All right, it really is that simple. Trading doesn't have to be as difficult as guys actually make it out to be because it is not. All right, so I'm talking about Chartmaster and this trading robot and you guys are, are understanding the strategy, but you're asking, what is Chartmaster? What is the history? What is happening here? Okay, so I also started off as a regular trader just like everybody else. I also picked up issues with time. I also picked up especially issues with emotion. When you're losing a trade, I'm a Gemini, so I am a very uh, emotional being. And if I lose a trade, I do take it personally. So often when I lose a trade, uh, I'll end up just uh, going to go and take a walk and you know, shake it off because I don't want it to get the better of me. So Chartmaster was created to be able to take care of problems like this on my behalf. All right, and it can do the same for you as well. It can do the same for anybody. If you've got software that can cut out emotion to help you make accurate decisions, then a trading tool or an expert advisor or a trading robot is exactly what you would need on your site in the Forex markets. Okay, so that is the history behind Chartmaster and that's why it was created. Chartmaster has been developed over, uh, I'd say about two years or so at this point. Um, and what's basically happened is I've added on extra features, uh, extra functionality and things to make it uh, software that is nice and functional when trading on the charts. All right, so you guys have seen the settings panel and you've seen the inputs and you understand exactly how that works. I don't see any questions coming through, which means that the strategy is plain and simple, as I said, and it looks like everybody is understanding it crystal clear. If you do have any questions, you guys are more than welcome to use the chat and send it through. All right, so I did promise you guys that I'm not going to keep you uh, busy for very long. Uh, I'm almost at the end of the webinar, so please bear with me, we're nearly done. I just wanna cover one or two extra things. All right, so uh, yeah, we see, what about the Wix? Uh, I do prefer Naresh to cancel out the Wix, uh, just to get a clearer picture, because as with anything else, uh, Wix is just a trail of where price was. Not that we should blatantly ignore it, but uh, I don't want Wix on a chart where I'm already trying to clear Wix up. All right, and then the pairs that you guys should be trading on, low spread pairs, uh, anything up to two pips, so that's gonna be your most liquid pairs, Euro, US dollar, US dollar, Japanese yen. You can give the Aussie a bash as well. I think the spread on that's about 2.6 pips or so, so that's not too bad, depending on your broker. So that one can help you quite a bit as well. If you guys have got any questions, please shoot. Uh, and you are more than welcome to send it to me on email as well. I can always answer you guys uh, off air at a later point as well. All right, so I did promise you guys that there will be a surprise for you when you guys come to the webinar. Um, and I know that some of you guys do already have Chartmaster. So for all practical purposes, if you already do, I've got an amazing trend line strategy that I would like to share with you uh, in PDF format. So just pop me a message or a mail and then what I'll do is I'll send that through to you tomorrow. Um, that will give you a very clear indication in terms of exactly how to trade your breakouts and your swings and your pullbacks and things like that, all based off trend lines. And it is extremely helpful. Okay, it will make your manual trading on candle charts look as good as uh, the trading on Renko charts. All right, you got it, guys. Okay, so I just want to get a different screen up here for one second. I uh, just want to see if I can find it, which I clearly can't. 
All right, there we go. If you guys can see the disclaimer. Nobody. Okay, sorry, I'm not actually sharing the screen. There we go. All right, so you guys can see my screen at the moment. Please just let me know if you can't see it. Uh, there we go. All right, perfect. We've got the disclaimer. So it is Black Friday tomorrow. Uh, most of you guys are familiar with the price of Chartmaster, usually two and a half thousand Rand. If you guys contact me tonight uh, and tomorrow, then I will give it to you guys at 50% discount. I've never sold it at this cheap before. It's a lot of hard work that's gone into it, a lot of research and development. You will never see it at this price ever again. Uh, so please do yourself a favor. If you do want to get hold of the software, there is a link that I did provide in the chat box. You can click on the link. It will take you through to a page. It's under the premium uh, course, which includes everything. You can see what you get, and you are also welcome to submit your details for an invoice request. And then once you've got that, you're welcome to process, and we can communicate on email so that I can help you to get your software set up. All right, so there is a 50% discount on that. It is, however, limited. Uh, to the first 50 guys, or the first, I think it's the first 100 guys, there's only so many licenses that I can get out in a day or so. Um, so for all practical purposes, Black Friday and Cyber Monday, by next week, Tuesday, uh, there will be no more specials going out, and there's only so much time to program in the license keys for you guys. Uh, so please do feel free to contact me as soon as you can. If you do want your copy, then I will help you guys out with that. All right, so you guys know where to find me. You've got me on email. You've got me on WhatsApp. Uh, I'm on Telegram and uh, all the other spaces that you guys can find me on as well. Uh, you guys are welcome to email me, vernon at profitfx.co.za. Uh, you can also um, go to my website, profitfxza.com. Uh, and then there's my cell number at the bottom. If you guys want to send me a WhatsApp message uh, to communicate further, you are more than welcome to do that. Uh, you guys can also go and check on Facebook if you don't mind liking my page, if you like what I do and share. Please uh, share the love and go uh, and like my page and share it on Facebook if you don't mind. And uh, if you are not on TradingView, I highly recommend that you do get onto TradingView uh, and you can follow me. My username there is CMasterZA, which is Chartmaster South Africa. Uh, it's just abbreviated. Uh, there's loads of signals going on, loads of education uh, and some ideas and analysis. You're more than welcome to follow me uh, and uh, you can see exactly what it is that I do, how I do it, when I do it and exactly how it plays out. All right, so thank you very much for joining the webinar tonight, guys. It's 7.57, we are right on schedule. Uh, so I didn't take up too much of your time tonight. I do thank you guys for coming through. I hope that you've learned tons from the strategy. Uh, and if there's anything that's unclear, you do have my contact details. Please feel free to contact me anytime you like, uh, and I'll be happy to help you out. And uh, then we can take it from there. So that's it, guys. Please take your information. Always practice it on a demo chart sorry, on a demo account, uh, give it a bash in the coming week, uh, see how it works out for you, and I'm pretty sure that it is going to positively contribute your trading experience. All right, guys, so thank you very much for joining in this webinar. Um, I will let you guys know when I set up the next one, and uh, just a final reminder, the Black Friday special starts tonight, and it will finish on Monday. So after that, no more. Sorry if you're too late, then you will unfortunately miss out. All right, guys, so that's it from my side. I wish you guys a great evening and uh, a safe Black Friday and I'll catch up with you guys back on the charts.